Let's talk about making rocks. We're going to start off by dropping in a couple of cube 3D nodes. Go ahead and adjust the parameters to your liking so they are all a bit different from each other. We're going to take these nodes and run them through a tile sampler. Make sure for the pattern, it is set to pattern input and set the input number to 3. We're going to want to change the input distribution to pattern number as well. Set the X and Y to 2 and finally add some random rotation and random scale. Next up, bring in a shape node and set the pattern to bell. Set the tiling to 2 and scale to 1.75. We will then take the output and blend it with our tile sampler setting the blend mode to min darken. Take the output and run it through a clamp grayscale setting the min to 0.37. We'll finish it off by adding in auto levels. Let's start introducing some variation. We're going to take our output and run it through a threshold node to create a black and white mask. Connect that to a flood fill and then a flood fill to random gradient setting the angle variation to 1. We'll take this output and blend it over our original shape setting the mode to overlay. We want to add a bit more variation so we're going to run our shapes through a warp that's connected to a noise. In this instance I use a clouds 2, scaled it, and blurred it. We then set the warp intensity to something low like 0.19. Finally we are going to take the same concept and blend in our final layer. Let's drop in the cells and the clouds too. We will connect both of these into a slope blur grayscale. Set the samples to 32, intensity to 1.91, and mode to max. Let's take this result and run it through a directional warp, making sure to use our original stones as the input for our direction. We will then invert this result and blend this into our original stones with the linear dodge. Don't forget to grab the black and white mask we created earlier and plug this into the opacity. This will make sure the new noise is only affecting our stone shapes and not the whole texture. As an add bonus, let's see how we can utilize these in practice. I'm going to isolate each rock by utilizing a crop grayscale node, moving the offsets per every rock. Now that they are all isolated, we can run them through a tile sampler, adjusting the parameters to our liking and creating a nice rocky floor. We can open up the 3D viewport to get a look at the final result, adjusting the nodes to the graph to get countless variations and the perfect result every time. Follow and like for more. Peace!